Hey everybody, welcome to the Hutch Food Adventures. Today, we have a uh, special recipe that we were inspired to try from uh, the show Cooking with Jack on YouTube. With Jack. We're gonna take it back to a Cooking with Roscoe and Alicia type episode. This recipe is ridiculous. Yeah. Absurd. And kind of disgusting sounding, but he says it's delicious. So yeah, he says it is. We gotta see if it really is. Well, okay. What's in this thing? So you have- well, Should we tell them what it's called first? It's called- Aunt Myrna's party cheese salad. Words that should never go together. So we have uh, one large lemon jello, crushed pineapple, cream cheese, a bell pepper, pimento, chopped celery, cool whip, chopped nuts, and shredded American cheese. <laughs> That's so gross. And we couldn't find shredded American cheese, so we're just gonna shred those American cheese slices. Yeah, and that should be fine. We would have gotten like shredded any other cheese, but Jack insists that it has to be American cheese for I this think, recipe to work. I think he said he tried it with a different cheese and it didn't work. Yeah. Right? I think. I don't know. He said it's a must that it's American. So we got the recipe, all of the ingredients down to the T. I'm gonna have to test this thing out and see if the party cheese salad is really a party in your mouth. <laughs> all right, let's go. First, we're going to, on the low heat, mix our crushed pineapple. You drop all the syrup in there too? Everything. Okay. You, melt, you mix crushed pineapple with lemon jello. Mmm. So far, so good. Right? Mm. Wow, it's just like a chemical powder. <gasps> Smell it. Okay. <laughs> Damn. It smells good, huh? Gosh, it smells like some lemon pie. It does. Next, add chopped up cream cheese. Stir until melted. Cream cheese spread. Boom. What if we just use those these th three ingredients? And, like <laughs> made little like jello. Like custardy jello things? Like you put them in a shot glass. Yeah. And then you put some like whipped cream on the top. And it's just like a dessert. It'd probably be dank, but we're not going halfway up the mountain. We're not going three quarters of the way up the mountain. We're going to the top of the mountain. We need all the ridiculousness added. Right. <laughs> so next we're going to add our bell peppers. All right. That's starting to get a little weird, but all right. Our celery. Okay. Our diced pimentos. Boom! Okay. Yeah, now it's a party. And half a cup of nuts. Boom! Now the nuts, it says it's your choice, so we chose pecans. All right. About to be a party now. Ooh, Get ooh. in. Wow, that actually looks kind of good. In a weird way, right? Yeah, I did smell tin. Wow. <sighs> <laughs> I love food. <laughs> okay, it says pour it in a nine by 12. Oh my God, Whoa, it's shoot. splashing. Oh God. Wow. No party goers left behind. <laughs> yeah. 
And now for maybe the grossest part of the whole thing. Sprinkle in that cheese. That might be a good method. It like made it worse. <laughs> uh, this is so weird. Straight up raw American cheese. <laughs> so now we put it in the refrigerator for four hours. And just wait. Let's do it. See you guys in four hours. Say bye to the people, babe. See you in four hours, hopefully sooner. Yeah. All right, All right, everybody. Um, the time is here. So here it, it is. It looks super weird. There's all kinds of weird stuff going on. You can see the celery, the nuts, the cheese. Smell it. I actually smell the like pepper. Me like, too. Right, the pimento. It's super weird. Mm. I don't know about it. Okay, let's just get to it. Let's do it, babe. Oh my gosh. I don't know. 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 Oh my gosh. I don't know, you guys. Oh my. It does have a custardy, eggy almost vibe. You know what I mean? Mm. Let me help you out. I'm really scared. <laughs> you ready? No. I feel like it smelled so good at first. Yeah. And then we turned it in the trash with all this American cheese and peppers. I don't know if I want to eat this. You have to, babe. We got this far. We're at the top of the mountain. There's only one step left to get to the peak. Okay. You gotta take the bite. You're gonna take a big old bite. Damn right. Wow. Ooh. My mouth went through a roller coaster. I like the nuts. I do like the crunch. Initially, I got a very tangy sourness. I don't know what it was. It might have been the pineapple. I still feel like the cheese is a bad touch. If you can get past the way that it looks, it's not bad. <laughs> I think that the lemon is strong enough because you have a choice to use lemon or lime jello. But I think that we did good with using lemon. And I think that the lemon is strong enough that it pretty much takes over. And then the rest is like texture. It minus the cheese. I could do without the cheese. I, I do think it's refreshing. It's custardy. The green pepper actually adds a bit of like freshness. Yeah. Like since it's like raw, it, it counteracts the pepper. sweetness with like a fresh, flavor but when you look at it it looks disturbing and you see all that american cheese sitting on top you just feel like you're eating trash <laughs> but at the same time would i sit down and eat a bowl of this no right i think that after today i might not have any more <laughs> what do you rank it i rank it a i rank it like a 2.5 really yeah. is it better than you expected it to be it's better than i expected but it just looks absolutely disgusting. And it's really hard for me to get past that. And it's just like, why? I feel like it would have been better if we didn't add the American cheese, didn't need to add all the peppers we ended up adding. And yeah. it was just like nuts, pineapple, whipped cream, and cream cheese. Blend. Yeah, it would have been a nice little sweet treat. But yeah, I just feel like, why? Give it like a three point. Okay. Okay. Because um, oh, I time. like a lot of I like a lot of parts to it. I just feel mm -hmm. kind of grossed out. Pineapple. I feel grossed out if I get like a chunk of American cheese in it. Yeah. And 
luckily I haven't been able to like discern a chunk of American cheese, but I feel like I don't want to. Yeah, I think this is, I mean, this is kind of. Weird. I have to though. Now that I said it, I absolutely have to. Here's the American cheese. This is a big one with some peppers and stuff. Mm -mm. I feel like it's, yeah. It's just not that great. I need the custard. <laughs> mm -mm. Well, if you guys decide to try this Ugh. at home. No, not, no not. American cheese. Maybe you guys can try with no American cheese because I don't see us Ooh. making this anymore. Oh my God. All right, guys. All right, guys, I want to get rid of this stuff as quickly as possible. Yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> if you tried it, let us know what you think or if you would try it. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'm disappointed. Hit the noty bell. Share with your friends, I guess. <laughs> no, really, share with your friends. Don't listen to her. Share with your friends. <laughs> Maybe Look we on can the bright side. You can just scrape off the top layer of American cheese and you'll be fine. I'm not. Mm -mm, I can barely cut the piece. It looks disgusting. Yeah. I think I just had high expectations for it after it smelled so good and stuff. But whatever. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Another episode of The Hutch. Food. Ed. Van. True. Sure. Uh. Period. Party salad edition. I'm not gonna say anything. Shout out to Alberta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>